Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BE with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? Mace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. This is for Friday's games. There's uh, three games on the slate. Uh, August 15th, second game back. Uh, Liberty game's still on right now, but uh, did all right in the first two games. Carlton didn't do well over four, so we didn't catch her on her threes. Uh, killed that, that, two, uh, that plus 270 Dolan. Ended up with six. She had four in the first, ended up with six, but she still cashed it, so that was really good. Uh, Smith got her rebounds. Uh, what else happened? I'll have it in the beginning of the video once it's all complete, but uh, okay day. Those plus monies definitely saved us. But uh, Rikia Jackson's at 11 points right now. Links are got. Uh, Sparks are getting killed, but hopefully she gets one more point. No rebounds, no assists. She's like minus 18, but still, she's shooting the ball well. As long as they give it a shot. But uh, let's go on. We got Caitlin Clark, assists over 10 and a half. Minus 120 on DraftKings, best odds. Multiple books. I say it all the time. Always line shop, always on shop. It's the way when you do this every day, like I do, what we do for that matter, I was following along, you know, day in and day out, you save money in the long run. Make more money like that, that Dolson plus, plus 270 I got it for, I put it out here. Hopefully you guys got it too. Before the game, it was down to plus 120. So uh, that's why you got to subscribe and pay attention. So I'll drop things in the community. Like I did a little earlier tonight. I dropped the four plays that I'm going to play. Anticipating some line change in there. But uh, let me keep going. We got uh, Clark assist over 10 and a half. She's hit this seven out of the last 10. The last couple of weeks before the break, she really started uh, gelling with a team and like, dropping dimes. So uh, they're playing Phoenix. Phoenix did real good today, but they're on a back-to-back. -back. I don't really know who's going to win the game, but I expect her to get at least 13 assists. So should be able to clear this easy. All right, so clock 10 and a half assists. Let's get it. Uh, Skylar Diggins-Smith assists over five and a half. Minus 138. FanDuel. Fandu got it on minus 144, too. So I mentioned this yesterday. Fandu will have five plus assists. Or uh, six plus, rather, since it's five and a half. It'll say six plus assists and then a couple of different names. And then they'll have their names. Skylar Diggins-Smith assists over five and a half. Or, you know, Drew Lloyd assists over three and a half. So the odds aren't always the same. So make sure you look at that. It's a couple of points right there. But uh, she's been killing it. She's a good assist machine. Uh, she played Atlanta on the 14th. She only played 14 minutes. She got hurt, and she had four assists. Uh, she was easily going to go over it. She usually plays like 31 minutes. So uh, she played this 6 out of 10. Like I said, this game, she was injured and she came back. She really wasn't in full strength before the break. She still had five. So uh, she'll be able to go over this. I like that I played it. The odds all say it's like she's going to cash it. Um, yeah, see here, 13.7 minutes. But uh, she plays at 30 minutes. She should easily go over this. Uh, spread's pretty close. Really shouldn't be a blowout. Things like plus six, minus six for Seattle. 
Uh, I'm not going to go too crazy into a bunch of plays. I backed off just because I see the way the games went today. Uh, it's a lot of rust, uh, a lot of not in game um, stamina. So you can tell. But uh, also, yeah, the video to play just before I gave you my eyes are looking up. My TV's hung on the wall. So I don't. I looked a little crazy while I was recording that. I was looking up at the TV. I'm not rolling my eyes. Let's get it. Digging Smith. Five and a half assists. Really should be at six. It, it was at six and a half, seven before the break. All right, next up, I got Marina Mabry. Points over 13 and a half. Minus 114, FanDuel. Uh, it's her first game with her being on Connecticut. Carrington was ruled out as well as uh, Tiffany Mitchell. So I don't really know how they were going to play Mabry with them on the court, but she's going to get more minutes now anyway because of them being out. I expect her to come out hot trying to prove herself. It's a decent player. Uh, with Chicago, she versed Dallas three times this year. She went over this number every time. She had 19, 14, and 19. Every time she's played, going back to last year, she's cleared this. Like I said, it's a new team, but I still think she should be all right. She got something to prove. I brought her there to help bring this team closer and try to win these playoff games. Uh, Dallas is ranked 12th overall in points. Allowing points, that's our uh, last place to the guard position. They're ranked 10th. So, uh, she's cleared this four out of the last five. Averaging 15 points. Last five games, shooting 40% from the field. 43% from three-point, making at least three. And 71% uh, from the foul line. So... I believe she should go over it. I played it. I gave it to you guys earlier. I just thought I gave you a couple of plays. I thought the numbers were going to change by tomorrow. I wasn't sure if I'd get the video out tonight. Uh, hopefully she catches it. Let's get it. Marina Mabry. Show us your stuff. Uh, points over 13 and a half. All right, next up, uh, Santu Sabley. It's on the wings. Uh, I don't have any stats for her for this year besides the Olympic Games. She was injured in the beginning of the year. She came back. She was good to go before the Olympics started, but she waited. And this is what she did in the four games in the Olympics. She's average. She played for Germany. She averaged eight, uh, about 19 points, just about six rebounds and two assists. So uh, played her points at 14 and a half. Dropped it in the community before. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. But uh, come on. like I said, 18, she's been averaging 19 points. I think that line is after a game or two is going to shoot up on the books, they're going to catch up to it and uh, realize they set it way too low. Um, shooting decent, nothing crazy. Three for 10 field goals the first game. All of them were threes. She has 17 points. She did have eight free throws, uh, five rebounds, two assists, one block. Uh, 29 minutes. Second game versus Japan, 32 minutes. She shot 11 for 17 field goals. 8 for 11, 2 points. 3 for 6, 3 points. 8 for 8 free throws. So, uh, four re uh, 6 rebounds, 3 assists that game, and 1 steal. Next game versus the United States. She, uh... 29 minutes, 15 points, 6 for 18. 
from the field, three for 10, two points, three for eight, three points. So uh, five rebounds, two assists. So what I did was I played a points, 14 and a half. Uh, I think it was minus 140. They have it at 15 and a half for around even money. I think she's going to cash it, but if I could get it lower, I always take it lower. Uh, if your unit size is, if you're spending more money, you always all line it back. You know, even if you're getting it for minus 140, 150, 170, you know, it's, you'd rather cash it than miss it by one. If you haven't noticed, the book's are always right on. Yeah, win by one, lose by one. So all lining it back, it's definitely a secret weapon. If uh, if I was able to have a larger unit size and spend more money per bed, I would always all line it back. I mean, that's the goal to get to there. But um, yeah, so I played her points over 14 and a half, and then I played her three points. They got at over one and a half um, fan duel for uh, plus 130. You see here, she played four games, three of the games she went over this, one of them she didn't. She shoots a decent volume, three for seven the first game, three for six the second game, three for eight the third game, and one for five the fourth game. So, uh, yeah, she's shooting pretty good. Let's go back here. So yeah, 14 and a half minus 142 on FanDuel. You can get it at 15 and a half for minus 102 if you want. You know, for the amount of money I spend, $25 a bet, it's like two, three dollars difference. I'd rather make sure I win or give me a better chance to win and miss out on two or three dollars. But I also played, like I said, I played her three pointers over one and a half plus one thirty eight. Fanduel. I didn't go by last year's stats because why would I? But yeah, so those are all the plays I got. Uh, the four I dropped in the community earlier, I just went over them as well as I added uh, Clark's assists. I didn't want to go crazy in other plays. I've seen the way today went. Uh, Jones was a blowout, so she didn't get the rebounds. She didn't play most of the second half. Uh, other than that, we did pretty good. Uh, Rikia Jackson ended up going over her points, but she didn't get her rebounds. So that's two we missed. And then uh, Carlton's threes. She went all for four, so we missed them. I'm pretty sure we catch all the rest. So we went four for three. As well as I said about uh, Jones going over her, John Quill Jones going over three and a half assists, so like plus 140, she catched that. Uh, Carter didn't play, so those got given back. So it was really... Uh, uh, five and three today. And one of them was a plus 270. Another one was a plus 130. So, all in all, good day, good day. But, uh, oh, the other thing. Let me get into that. If, uh, if you could subscribe, I noticed 80% of my viewers ain't, ain't subscribed. Like that don't make sense to me. You're going to keep watching, but you're not going to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Come on. Likes, comments, uh, help get the videos out there. As well as it's like an interaction. I had a couple people putting putting some comments in. I uh, appreciate that. You know, it's a community. It's us versus them. You know, let's commit that sportsbook robbery. Eats money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.